Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Gaines from Almost in Full Color. Um, bring bringing you a video today about the new Spider-Man DLC, The Heist, that just came out a couple days ago. I got a chance to actually play it, and uh, first off, I want to say it's definitely too short. Um, it's way too short. I, I expected more gameplay than that. I was able to pretty much complete the entire DLC, uh, side quests, collectibles, story missions, everything, in maybe five hours uh give or take really um it did introduce the new game plus so that was good um that'll give you more if you want to go back and play the game on the ultimate difficulty which is a new difficulty they introduced with this dlc as well so that gives you something to do but if you're just sticking with the black cat the heist story it's way too short so uh without further ado i guess we can go ahead and get into the highlights of the game okay so the first thing we should touch on is how to get to the dlc and how to activate that story content as the one you actually want to play so it's actually activated inside of the game itself so once you load up your old save file and you jump back into the game you pretty much go all the way to the end here in the menu and you go down select the heist and make that the active content and then the game will go ahead and start as opposed to. Now the story, although short, is actually not too bad. It's pretty good. So what's going on is that Black Cat is back in the picture as you can see. And she's pulling off heists. Hence the DLC title, The Heist. She's going around and she's stealing these flash drives for Hammerhead and the Magia family, which is actually Hammerhead's crime family. Apparently, Hammerhead has her son hostage and she's pretty much working for him in order to steal these flash drives so that she can save her son. And I know what you're thinking. Back that up. She has a son. In this DLC, apparently she has a son. And since Spider-Man or Peter Parker has had relations with her in the past, Peter doesn't know if the son is his or not and you'll have to play to figure that out but if you were ever wondering is there any way possible that Insomniac could take Spider-Man and Mori and put it into one thing well here you go you have Spider-Man and he's stuck in a am I or am I not the father situation with the black cat while also of course trying to save her from doing all her bad deeds So for new things added to the game, they added three more suits, and those suits don't have any suit powers, but they're pretty cool suits. Um, not going to spoil what those suits are, but I am going to say that I'm mad that my one suit that I want so bad to be added to the game still hasn't been added. Anyway, they also added another nine trophies. Most of those trophies you'll get just by playing through the story. Um, they brought back more of the district completion tasks. Now, not every district got more completion tasks. Only maybe about, I think, four or five. So, that's good. Because the ones from the first part of the story, it got repetitive. But if you wanted to complete the game, you just had to grind through it. Now, even though it's not as many districts, it's also not as many actual completion tasks. So, that's good, too. The only thing you'll really be doing is finding hidden paintings, kind of like finding backpacks before. But the only good part is, well, I guess, I mean, the backpacks weren't bad. But the good part is that finding these stolen paintings actually unlocks more additional backstory. So you can kind of get a little more familiar with what's going on or what used to happen that brought us to this. Um, screwball challenges are back so you can get your followers up. And you also have more random crime to stop from the Magia family. So if you got tired of just web slinging and slowing down cars or finding bombs, you're in luck because you get to do all that again. Alright, so to wrap it up, 
definitely the game, well, the DLC was way too short. Um, even though I guess I kind of understand what they're doing, since normally a DLC would last about three months, give or take, um, we're getting, I guess, one piece of this DLC package for The City Never Sleeps. Like, the heist was just the first part. The next one is Turf Wars, and that's the second part. So we're getting three parts over three months for this one DLC, which is The City Never Sleeps. So maybe that's why it's so short, and once you put them all together, you'll kind of get a, you know, maybe a DLC that adds about maybe 10, 10 hours or so of gameplay onto the game. Um, so I, I guess I understand where they're going with that. But playing it now and getting to dive back into Spider-Man and remembering all the good stuff about the game, it definitely makes me want more. So I get mad that I only got a handful of hours to play. Um, I didn't touch on like controls or graphics or anything like that because the game looks great. The controls are great. We known that from the first part of the story, all that carried over into the DLC been pointless to bring that up again but this one actually as i spoke to being the first part of this dlc package it's kind of like i guess episode one it even leaves you with the to be continued at the bottom of it so hopefully turf wars does feed into where the heist leaves off and turf wars i believe launches on november 13th of next month so once that comes out course i'll bring the video and let you know my thoughts on it and kind of crossing my fingers here that it'll be longer than this one was but all in all if you got the season pass i mean you definitely should be playing this if you didn't get the season pass like myself i never buy the season pass uh ten dollars for this eh maybe it's a little high but to come back to play spider-man ten dollars is it's really not that bad so all in all if you haven't got it I suggest to get it and if you got a season pass you might as well get it you already paid for it if you didn't still go out and get it go play spider-man again you won't regret it it'll definitely leave you wanting more like it did for me so that's it guys catch you next time peace hey everyone thanks for checking out the video as always and please leave comments below to let us know what we can work on or what you might like to see next come out for the channel Please check down in the description as well. You can see myself and the other content creators' Twitch accounts. Please also look to the left. There's a couple of social media accounts that'll keep you up to date with new content coming out on the channel. But as always, please subscribe here and make sure you hit the bell so that you'll be notified when new videos come out.